Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today for you guys, we've got some spicy topics to talk about, so let's just dive straight into it. So first up for today, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross players, or even people who perhaps maybe used to play Union Cross, you guys might want to listen up for this. So as of right now, it is obviously the Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary. This year marks 15 years of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. And the North American version of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is actually celebrating as yesterday actually marked 15 years of Kingdom Hearts in America. So to commemorate this, Square Enix are actually giving away 15,000, yes you guys heard that right, 15,000 free jewels as of right now when you log into Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Now at the start of this month, it was actually the second anniversary for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or Unchained Key over in Japan. And you guys should probably know that of course Japan got a lot of cool goodies to commemorate the second anniversary. One thing that the Japanese players got that I know a lot of global players were sort of a little bit mad about was the 10,000 free jewels. We're sitting over here in global with tumbleweed and dust with bad pulls while the people over in Japan are celebrating with absolutely fantastic RNG and 10,000 free jewels, are you kidding me? So to be honest, I think this is really cool on Square Enix's behalf by commemorating the 15th anniversary. We're also not missing out on a huge bundle of jewels. Right here, we're actually receiving 15,000. So like I I said guys, if you dudes are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, you might have already received these 15,000 jewels, but if you guys haven't logged on as of right now, I highly recommend that you guys do so. Keep in mind, these jewels will only sit in your mailbox for a total of 30 days, and after that, they will expire. So you guys have a lot of time to redeem the jewels, but keep in mind, you only have 30 days to do so. Next up, speaking of the 15th anniversary, Kingdom Hearts turned 15 yesterday over in North America, as it originally released over in America on September 17th. 2002. So in case you guys don't know, Kingdom Hearts originally released on a different month and day for different countries and regions. For uh, EU, it actually originally released on November 15th, 2002, and for places like Australia and New Zealand, the game actually released on November 22nd, 2002. So for Australia, New Zealand, as well as the EU, we still have a couple of months to wait before Kingdom Hearts officially turns 15 in our countries. But as of right now, for Japan, as well as North America, Kingdom Hearts is officially 15 years old. What I thought was really cool about this is PlayStation actually acknowledged Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary by actually tweeting out about it. This is their tweet right here. They said, it's been 15 years since Kingdom Hearts was first released in North America. We still have our original copy, do you? So yeah, I thought it was a really cool thing from PlayStation themselves, like the actual big boys to actually tweet about the 15th anniversary. Pretty cool on their behalf. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking as of right now, are Square Enix actually doing anything or perhaps maybe even Disney to actually commemorate 15 years of Kingdom Hearts within North America. Now as you guys should probably know 2017 is the overall year that actually completely marks 15 years of Kingdom Hearts so I think what Square Enix are doing rather than actually celebrating on the actual days that the franchise turns 15 within different regions and countries, Square Enix is just using the entirety of this year to present new Kingdom Hearts information and honestly guys uh, I know I've said this in a previous video but we have been treated absolutely superb throughout this year from Square in terms of new Kingdom Hearts information, you know, everything to do with Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and 1.5 and 2.5 at the start of this year, everything that's going on with Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key and Union Cross, and then of course the big boy in the middle of all that, Kingdom Hearts 3, with receiving two Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers so far this year, as well as the actual release year itself, I think things are going pretty well for us. So yeah, no new news to commemorate the 15th anniversary over in America, but was I really expecting any news to come out on the actual 15th anniversary of the franchise in America. No, not really. Like I was saying, you know, we've been treated extremely well this year. However, though, keeping in mind, tonight is the pre-PlayStation TGS press conference, which means that there's going to be a ton of different game reveals and whatnot happening there. Now, although I don't think it's likely that Kingdom Hearts will actually appear at TGS or the PlayStation press conference, it is important to keep an eye out. And last up for today, we have a personal message from Tetsuya Nomura himself. Now, this message is actually to do with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and within the message, he actually briefly talks about the Union Cross story and where it's currently going, and apparently it's going to be getting quote-unquote a bit deep. Now, this is some interesting stuff, and this actually released around the time of the second anniversary of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross over 
were in Japan at the start of this month. However, though, English translations took a while to come out, but now we finally have them, so let's dive into it. This is what he said. Long time no see, this is Nomura. Somehow we are able to celebrate the second anniversary, and it's thanks to the fans. The staff appreciate it too. Thank you. This time I tried very hard to write and draw various things. I will explain. I did the Kingdom Hearts 2's last battle illustration, the Kingdom Hearts 2 avatar parts, and others so I can kind of multiply the number 2 for the second anniversary event. The main story ended with a long Kingdom Hearts-ish prologue, so the main part of Union Cross begins at last. This is what the title displayed on the latest scenario part meant. It was the beginning of an impact. I believe that Union Cross will be deeper than Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key. I think that each new part added will make you even more involved into the story, so please look forward to it. By the middle of September, there is a little part of the main scenario in preparation along with a large scale update, so please look forward to it too. Until then, may your heart be your guiding key. So obviously this is a message to thank the fans for two years so far of Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, and right here it's a pretty nice message from Tetsuya Nomura himself. Now, like I was saying, he talks about some interesting stuff within this message. Right here he believes that Union Cross is going to be a deeper story compared to that of Kingdom Hearts Key and Unchained Key, and I think he's damn right about that. Everything that's currently transpiring to do with mainly the dandelion leaders and not really so much focusing on you know characters like the foretellers as well as Lu Xu and the master of masters the story that they're currently telling as of right now to do with those characters the dandelions I think is a far more interesting story being told than the story being told previous within Kingdom Hearts key as well as Unchained's key we now have familiar characters like a sort of Zexian lookalike we also have Ventus right there which is pretty crazy and also with the recent introduction of like Marlouche is somebody, things are getting crazy. And I don't think I've ever felt so involved with the Kingdom Hearts key story as I have before with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So yeah, I think Square Enix are doing really, really good things with how the story is currently being told with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and everything that's actually involved within the story of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Don't get me wrong though, it's confusing as shit, but still. Good stuff. The other interesting thing that he mentioned right here is he's saying by the middle of September, apparently there is going to be a little bit of the main scenario in preparation. So whether or not that means by the middle of September, they will be working on the next part of the story or whether by the middle of September, there will be a new part of the story being added to the game, I'm not too sure. But from the sounds of it, towards the end of September or perhaps maybe early October, we can probably expect the next story update for the Japanese version of the game. And I'm really looking forward to this because as you guys should probably you know as of right now all of the dandelion leaders are finally together things will finally start to fall in place and hopefully sometime soon we'll finally get some answers but other guys that is all the news and information for today in the comment section down below let me know your guys thoughts about today's news and information also guys do not forget about your 15,000 free jewels make sure to redeem that good stuff and until next time guys i'll catch you later peace